Rosetta is having its moment in the sun, and so is Comet 67P Churyumov Gerasimenko. The comet and the action are heating up, and this series of images captured by the NavCam camera shows the brilliant bursts of dust and gas extending into space. During the next few weeks, this activity will peak, posing a potential risk for the orbiting spacecraft. Rosetta is controlled from here, at ESA's European Space Operations Centre at Darmstadt in Germany. Because the activity of the comet constantly changes, it can't be predicted, so the flight operations team must monitor the spacecraft and the cometary fireworks on a regular basis. We control Rosetta twice a week. We check where it is in its orbit, in its planned trajectory. We see the effects of the environment of the comet to the spacecraft. So twice a week, we decide what to do and we keep doing it. There are weeks where nothing happens and we continue with our plan. There are weeks or weekends where something dramatic happens. It happened a few weeks ago and we had to change the distance from 200 to 300 kilometers. And this is something you have to plan in a, within a day. We have to react and be able to do it. This is what Andrea was referring to a jet of gas and dust erupting from the comet and captured by the Osiris camera. These fast but low-density jets can push the spacecraft away from its trajectory. The dust can cause problems too by obscuring Rosetta's star trackers. These are small telescopes that use the position of the stars to determine the attitude of the spacecraft. The streaks of light in these images are moving fragments of comet so there's plenty of material to avoid, such as this boulder-sized object. The comet's recent perihelion, at its closest distance to the Sun, was an important milestone for the Rosetta mission. But it was also business as usual, as the science mission will continue for another year before one final manoeuvre. Our intention at the end is to spiral down towards the surface of the comet and at the end we will sort of deposit Rosetta on the surface. We can call it landing or crashing on the surface, but this is what we'll do at the end of the mission. For those who have been involved with Rosetta from before its launch in 2004, the mission has been a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Rosetta is, uh, is unique compared to all the other missions. It's not only a historical mission, but also from the operations point of view, is, is really very peculiar. Every day is different. Every day you have different challenges, different ways, different approaches you have to take. And uh, it is really something very, very special that it has been special in the last 10 years. It will be special next year. The huge amount of data collected during the mission so far and to be collected over the next year is likely to keep the Rosetta scientists busy for many years to come, giving us the most comprehensive knowledge yet of a comet's lifetime. <laughs>